It was a revolution against repression. Protests inspired by an act of desperation. Five years ago, the regime of Tunisian President Zin al Abidin Ben Ali came to an end, setting off a chain reaction across the Arab world. Many things have not come about as I would have wished, to be honest, in particular regarding democracy and rights. The demands for political change spread to Egypt, to Libya, and to Syria and other countries. Some had revolutions. Others descended into civil war. Tunisia, though, has largely been stable, although recent terror attacks have threatened the peace. Criticism of the Tunisian government being broadcast openly and without fear. This band are performing on the radio, singing that people are still crying after the revolution. Five years ago, a public performance like this in Tunisia would have been unthinkable. But the media has now opened up, no longer repressed by a dictator. When Ben Ali uh, is in power, uh, we haven't the power. Uh, when we sang before, there were a lot of problems and taboos. But after the revolution, we found freedom of speech so we can express ourselves. We talk about everything we want. Under the former president, Zin al Abidin Ben Ali, free speech didn't exist. He ruled Tunisia for 23 years through repression and fear. But in December 2010, Tunisians demanded change after this man, Mohamed Bouazizi, killed himself. His cousin shows me a poster of Mohamed. The vegetable seller set himself on fire in frustration. That led to huge protests and Ben Ali fled the country. But Mohamed's cousin doesn't believe enough has changed. The people regret the revolution because, even more than before, the dictator is back. This government uses terrorism. Every time we ask for some rights, they say they must fight against terrorism first. The terror threat is real and seemingly growing. In November, a suicide bomber targeted the presidential guard, killing 12 people. It came after Tunisia's worst terror attack, 38 people gunned down in the resort of Sousse in June 2015. That March, another 21 people were killed in Tunis. The targets of both of those attacks, foreign tourists. The government is battling to convince foreigners that the country is safe. The number one priority of our government is security. Social peace is also important because it's essential to restarting the economy, also to relaunching the tourist sector. Le tourisme, qui est une, un secteur important de notre économie. As Tunisians celebrate five years since the revolution, <laughs> some are also protesting, calling for justice and more jobs. It's a sign of frustration with the revolution, but also the change in this country. This demonstration is an example of why so many view Tunisia as the success story of the Arab Spring. Yes, some here are disillusioned with the amount of progress since the revolution, but in comparison to many other countries in the region, they now have the right to freely protest. Still, some feel the country's not moving forward fast enough. The media may be freer than ever before, but freedom from danger and poverty look like battles far from won. Duncan Crawford, The Newsmakers, Tunis.